Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff, and we're here for our daily lectionary readings. It is Friday, June 7th, 2024. Congratulations on making it to Friday. Our psalm reading, once again, will resolve in Psalm 138. Our Old Testament reading will continue the story in 1 Samuel chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. And then our New Testament reading comes from the 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Remember, it is Friday, so we are looking ahead to what is going to be happening at church on Sunday. I apologize for that. I open up the tab, and we are going to be reading out of the Living Bible today. Psalm 138. Lord, with all my heart, I thank you. I will sing your praises before the armies of angels. I face your temple as I worship, giving thanks to you for all your loving kindness and your faithfulness, for your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. When I pray, you answer me and encourage me by giving me the strength that I need. Every king in the earth shall give you thanks, O Lord, for all of them shall hear your voice. Yes, they shall sing about Jehovah's glorious ways, for his glory is very great. Yet, though he is so great, he respects the humble, but proud men must keep their distance. Though I am surrounded by trouble, you will bring me safely through them. You will clench your fist against my angry enemies. Your power will save me. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your loving kindness, Lord, continues forever. Don't abandon me, for you made me. Our Old Testament reading is in 1 Samuel chapter 5. The Philistines took the captured Ark of God from the battleground of Ebenezer to the temple of their idol Dagon in the city of Ashdod. But when the local citizens went to see it in the next morning, Dagon had fallen with his face to the crown before the Ark of Jehovah. They set him up again, but the next morning the same thing happened. The idol had fallen face down before the ark of the Lord again. This time, his head and hands had been cut off and were lying in the doorway. Only the trunk of his body was left intact. That is why to this day, neither the priest of the Dagon nor his worshippers will talk or walk on the threshold of the temple of Dagon and Ashad. Then the Lord began to destroy the people of Ashdod and the nearby villages with bubonic plagues. When the people realized what was happening, they exclaimed, We can't keep the ark of God of Israel here any longer. We'll all perish along with our God, Dagon. So they called a conference of the mayors of the five cities of the Philistines to decide how to dispose of the ark. The decision was to take it to Gath, but when the ark arrived at Gath, the Lord began destroying its people, young and old, with the plague, and there was a great panic. So they went to the ark to Ekron, but when the people of Ekron saw it coming out and cried out, They are bringing the ark of God of Israel here to kill us too. So they summoned the mayors again and begged them to send the ark back to its own country, lest the entire city die. For the plague had already begun, and great fear was sweeping across the city. Those who didn't die were deathly ill, and there was weeping everywhere. Our New Testament reading comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. For we know that when this tent we live in now is taken down, when we die and leave these bodies, we will have wonderful new bodies in heaven, homes that will be ours forever, made for us by God himself and not by human hands. How weary we grow of our present bodies. That is why we look forward eagerly to the day when we shall have heavenly bodies that we shall put on like 
new clothes. For we shall not merely be spirits without bodies. These earthly bodies make us groan and sigh, but we wouldn't like to think of dying and having no bodies at all. We want to slip into new bodies so that these dying bodies will, as it were, be swallowed up by the everlasting life. This is what God has prepared for us, and as a guarantee, he has given us his Holy Spirit. And there is our readings for the day.